行ってみよう All right, what's good, guys? You're on here to bring you another reaction trailer.、Um, yeah, so I think a lot of people are expecting the young innocent Tana, which I am also agreeing with for the most part.、Uh, my biggest question is if that's the case, are we getting a full young Sacred Stones banner or is it going to be kind of ver、uh, varied? So,、uh, yeah, that's all I got, so let's find out.、Um, I didn't see the thumbnail at all, so let's see how it goes. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> I think the audio is okay this time. I'll have the Japanese again, but it's fine. <clears throat> okay, yeah, there's Young Tan. Okay, it's not Duo. Okay, I guess we're gonna get. I think we're gonna get Duo、er、Erica then, probably. Oh boy, she has Noe's effect. Oh boy. Freya's treasured lands.、Uh, Freya's, rather. Okay. I'll check back in a second. So that means we're gonna get probably Demo Innis then. Oh, she has Kanto, I just realized. Okay, nice. Okay, Young La Rochelle. This is a really interesting theme. Is it Sacred Stone's anniversary? I don't know. Alright, it's Cavalry Staff Healer again. Okay, she's gonna be pretty good then, isn't she? Cavalry Staffs are nice. Does she have even recovery? Oh, wow, what is that? Okay. Speed res something. Alright. A lot of interesting new skills, it seems. Oh, that's a B skill, not a C skill. Okay. Wow, she has Kanto too. And she has Rescue. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh! Young Leon. Wow. Didn't expect that. <laughs> a third Lion ult. Leon ult. Er, well, third if you include the duo part. Yeah, that's a D mode for sure. Grado's、uh, historical tome or whatever. Alright, looks like a mini Gleipnir. Okay, yeah. Duo. Is it Duo Ephraim again? Okay, no, it's Erica. Yeah, okay. Expected that Erica's gonna be in the front. Alright, that's. <laughs> oh god, what is that text? Alright, Distant Foil.、Um... No follow up, join, join tone speed. Oh my god, that text was insane. <laughs>、um, okay, heal allies within 3x3. Hold on. Yeah, I'll, I'll read everything in a second. And let me guess what our free unit's gonna. I guess free unit will be Innis then. Yeah, it has to be. If they keep going with the theme. Yeah, some sort of speed buff. Yeah, it's a, it has to be. It should be a new mechanic, right? Because they did that update or whatever. Oh, it's super des. Wait, no. Wait, what is it? I thought it was gonna be super desperation, but whatever. Oh, yeah, she said Onisama, so Innis is here. Free units. Yep, there he is. Alright, everyone's the same class as their base versions, except for Leon. Alright. Okay, let's go back and check the skills here. Alright, so Lan Tana is Lance Fire. And she has Kanto, we know that, and the super、uh, aerobatics. So, killer weapon、uh, can move within two spaces, within anyone within two, two、uh, spaces.、Um, at the start of combat, if, HP, if she exists, then attack speed plus six. And. Oh wow, when she initiates combat, it gets plus 10 res and defense. Okay. <laughs> okay.、Um, steady impact, that's really good. Alright, this is a new skill. Speed defense.、Um, close shadow is the kanji.、Um, not sure what it's gonna entail. Oh, is it Kanto? Okay, so in combat, speed. And defense, take it an enemy speed and defense minus three, and grants Kanto remaining move plus one. Okay. Alright, alright. So that synergizes really, really well with her weapon. Because she can teleport to attack, and then that shouldn't technically count as any movement, I, I want to say. So yeah, I think they showed it. So she'll have like three movement after the Kanto, or for the Kanto. So this counts as no movement. And then she'll get 2 plus 1、um, afterwards for Kanto. 
Uh, oh, just one. Okay, never mind. I guess it uses up all of her movement then. So at least she'll always get one movement. Um, okay, that's that's really nice, honestly. So the warping does count as movement then. Okay. All right, really cool. And Lara Show had the same thing. Uh, that's Amagaitado, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, she moved one space, so she should have three Kanto after this, if she has that same effect. Alright, she has rescue, her PRF is uh, Wrathful Staff, and at the start of turn, the closest ally within, or the closest enemy within five spaces gets uh, res minus six, and uh, the flash effect. Wow, okay, that's pretty nice. And when she initiates combat, attack speed plus six. Rescue, speed put attack speed push. Yeah, and she has the speed res version of it. Okay, no, it's not it's not remaining plus one, it's um just the remaining spaces left. So she should have two movement after this. Okay, yeah, it says right there, if you warp, then count as your remaining spaces as zero. Okay, which is fair. So she should have two after this, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, nice. That's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, it's not plus one because she's a ranged unit, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this lion has a uh, preferred tone. Alright, Grado's... Uh, whatever. Historical tome. Attack plus three. When enemy attacks, or if enemy has 100% HP, uh, they get minus 6 attack and res, and uh, during combat, uh, your debuffs to attack and res are nullified, and if the enemy is a ranged unit basically, or a colorless unit, or and a colorless unit, um, okay, Raven effect. Okay, that's uh, basically another, uh, just another version of... What he always, what he's always been doing, like countering red uh, range units, pretty hard. And this is the only blue Leon, so I guess there's some variety there. He's kind of like the Makaya ults, where all of them kind of do the same thing, just in various colors. All right, now this has a lot of tech, so it might take me a second. All right. That's also time to tell me all again. Alright, um, Renee's Graceful Sword, or whatever, uh, Gracious Sword, I, I don't know, it's the kanji for things. Uh, alright, Killer Weapon, if you init if she init initiates combat, or if there's an ally within two spaces, gets all stats plus five, right, uh, if she initiates combat, and if there's an ally within two spaces again, and... Okay, it's kind of like the ca uh, the uh, the new skills that we got. And if she has a buff on her, or a debuff on her, <laughs> um, let's see. Her damage is a she gets true damage. She gets freaking Luna Arc twenty uh, enemies twenty percent of defense as damage, true damage, and when she does damage. She heals 20% as well. Okay, so it's a lifesteal. Based on 20% of opponent's defense. Wow. Um, yeah, and there's a buffs and debuffs. Okay, so life-stealing slaying weapon that gives plus 5 all stats. And she has distant foil, so that's trash. <laughs> uh, no follow-up. Joint hone speed, which is unfortunate, not joint drive speed. Um, it's good. Uh, it doesn't seem like groundbreaking or anything, but let's see the dual skill. Alright, so... So you and allies within, um, 3 by 3 get damage reduction. Wow, they they all get speed based damage reduction. Wow. Um, and you can reuse it on odd turns. Wow. 
that's pretty crazy, honestly. Um, but then again, of course, it only happens when opponent doesn't have duelist hindrance. AR speaking, of course. In general, it's amazing. But for AR offense, um, it'll be pretty situational. But that's really good. <laughs> really good. So that frees up a lot of B slots for like characters like Merida. Well, she already has no follow up. So you could put Merida can have no C, no follow up, and uh, damage reduction all at the same time now. That's really crazy, honestly. Um, but she still probably wants Brave Lucina support or something, so I don't know. Wow, okay. Um, cool. <laughs> I'll be frank, none of these units uh, stand out to me as like being meta-defining or anything. Um, but we got some cool news. I, I really like the Kanto abilities. Uh, it was about, it's about time that we got them as inheritable. I'm not sure... <clears throat> um, how broken they'll be. Um, cause I really like how they balance the ranged um, Kanto. Actually, it's pretty nice. I'm assuming it's only gonna be on flyers and uh, horses, probably. Um, hmm. But if you warp, you don't get anything. So it's pretty balanced, I would say, honestly. And it's on the B slot, which is pretty competitive. It's really good for flyers. And it works pretty well in tandem with uh, Tempest skills, so that's something to consider. And uh, other movement boosting things, so... Pretty cool. Alright, so I guess that's it. Uh, I think I'm gonna skip for the most part. If I, For my free pull though, or like my first circle at least, I don't know. I might go for... Well, I'll have to think about it a bit. I might go for Laura Shell because she has like... The most useful things. My favorite character among this is probably Tana, honestly. I'm not a fan of the young alts too much in general, but uh, Erica, I'm not gonna have much use for her person, honestly. <clears throat> so definitely not going for her. But then again, Lara Shell's colorless, and it's really hard to get <laughs> colorless focus units nowadays because it's the most inflated pool. Maybe I'll go blue. I don't know. Um, she has, yeah, she her <laughs> her kit, her fodder kit is insane. Uh, you can get both. The Kanto plus Steady Impact at once. Um, yeah, that seems really good. But all right, um, that'll do it. Let me know how you, what you guys think about the banner. Um, yeah, it's a really interesting choice that they went uh, kids Sacred Stones. So I wasn't expecting the whole banner to be that honestly, but it might be their its anniversary or something. But yeah. Pretty cool nonetheless. Innis is gonna be a free unit, it's probably gonna suck. Um, and gonna have some inheritable weapon. Uh, I guess we could check now, honestly. But if it's a new weapon, I guess there's no way to know for sure. Uh, they, Cause everyone got PRFs. Maybe she, maybe he will too. Yeah, all right. So that'll do it guys. See you next time. Let me know what you think. Peace out.